Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday, November 13th. Happy Hump Day. Um, we are going to go over what you will be working on this week. Um, today, I'm filming these all in one day, so now I'm confusing myself. Um, let's go over what we're going to do for Wednesday. Your morning work for today. Um, you had the essential question. Having met Penny yesterday and knowing the title of her story, what do you think the novel will be about? So we met Penny. And Penny is a 12 year old girl, she's 1953. She's dreaming of this perfect summer, but doesn't seem like she's going to get it. She talks about her birth certificate name and her nickname and how she got her nickname. So we got a pretty decent background of who Penny is. So what do you think the book's going to be about? Think about it, this is super important. We got a whole book about it. And then Wacky Wednesday, we're gonna have a joke here and there. What did one penny say to another? You and I together just make sense. Knee slapper. Alrighty. And we have word study. And again, I showed it to you yesterday. It's the same choices for workshop time. We have um, an engagement activity on making predictions. And then if you can't get enough of making predictions, there's an extra game here using Disney Pixar clips to predict what will happen. I'm a big fan of Disney Pixar, so I have no clue of it. All right, and then independent writing and shared reading. We have another independent writing day. And you're going to be working more on prediction. So you're going to predict what will happen in the novel um, just from what we've learned so far. And then you can use this worksheet throughout to keep making predictions for each chapter. In math, now that we have an introduction to multiplication, we're going to understand equal groups of as multiplication. And then for science, social studies, we're still on social studies. Now that everyone has put up their um, information, their notes, their 15 notes, remember three categories, five facts per category, that's 15 notes. Um, now that you have those up there, you can go and look at what your peers have and add to the notes that you took. Like anything that they have up there that you do not have on your notes, you can jot down to have some new facts. And just remember, I am going to be looking. I'm going to count. This person had 15. This person had 12. I'm going to count. So make sure you have 15. 15's the magic number. All right. And you're going to keep following your action plan that we made yesterday for your independent study. So keep up the great work, friends. I know this is different, but you're doing great. So just keep on working hard.